While working as a federal prosecutor in New York in the 1980s, Rudy Giuliani was hailed for his innovative use of racketeering laws against the mob. Now he's facing a similar charge, violation of Georgia's RICO, Racketeering Influenced and Corrupt Organizations, Act, for allegedly taking part in a conspiracy with then-President Donald Trump and others in a bid to overturn the 2020 election results in Georgia. The charge carries a minimum five-year prison sentence and a maximum sentence of 20 years. The state law is based on federal RICO law, which Congress passed in 1970 to combat organized crime. Giuliani, 79, wielded it for just that purpose and to spectacular result when he was the U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York. Giuliani used the law, which allows a variety of crimes to be tied together into a single racketeering charge, to take down the leadership of the city's five families, organized crime families that operated across the country. The indictment charged that their leadership was essentially a board of directors for the mafia and had engaged in murders, extortion and loan sharking. The trial lasted 10 weeks and netted eight convictions. Giuliani said at the time the verdict resulted in dismantling the ruling council of La Cosa Nostra. His success led to more widespread application of the law, which is often used against violent street gangs and other criminal enterprises. Georgia's version of the law has also become a favorite tool of Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis, who brought the case against Trump and Giuliani. In a prominent example, Willis used the state law, which has been around since the 1980s, to prosecute public school educators involved in a cheating scandal a decade ago, when she was a deputy in the office she now leads. She's used it in numerous cases since becoming district attorney in 2021, including in an ongoing case against rapper Young Thug. Her reliance on the law has sometimes sparked criticism, with groups including the Georgia NAACP suggesting the prosecutions in the cheating case were too heavy-handed and disproportionately targeted black people. Willis spoke about her frequent use of the law in an interview with The Washington Post earlier this year. I have right now more RICO indictments in the last 18 months, 20 months, than were probably done in the last 10 years out of this office, she told the newspaper, saying the law allows you to tell jurors the full story. In a statement shared by an advisor Monday night, Giuliani said the indictment against him is an affront to American democracy that does permanent, irrevocable harm to our justice system, and calling it just the next chapter in a book of lies with the purpose of framing President Donald Trump and anyone willing to take on the ruling regime. The real criminals here are the people who have brought this case forward both directly and indirectly, Giuliani said.